Welcome to the video tutorial for Photo Impact Pro, the award-winning software that delivers total image editing for the PC. This video tutorial has been created to make it easy for new users to become familiar with Photo Impact and to get a glimpse of what you can create with its powerful features. You'll find that all of the image files that we use on this tutorial are available to you on the same CD disk that this tutorial is on. You have other resources for learning all about Photo Impact. One such resource is the tip of the day feature that's built into the program to display when you start up Photo Impact, a feature that you can also access in the Help menu. And of course, you can always use the Photo Impact Online Help to explore the program on your own by simply pressing F1 on your keyboard. But of course, the most effective method of all is to explore the program itself. Play with the software and you'll be a pro in no time. Getting started is a lot easier when you understand some of the terms and what they mean. In this chapter, we'll introduce just some of the basics behind image editing and the terms we use to describe them. With Photo Impact, we'll talk about opening and working with documents. By document, we simply mean any image file that you can work on with Photo Impact. You can work with almost any image file format, including JPEG, GIF, TIFF, and Bitmap. In Photo Impact, document images can contain elements called objects. Unlike image editing programs that make you create separate layers, Photo Impact lets you create and add objects, which are visual elements that you can add on top of your base image. Since Photo Impact is an object-based program, you can move these objects around, edit and manipulate them within your document. They're separate from the base image and independent from the other objects in the document. The base image is just what it sounds like, the basic visual element of your document. When you open up a document with no objects, it will only have a base image. And when you open up a file that has objects, you'll see that the base image cannot be moved and manipulated like objects can. Resolution is very important in image editing, especially when you're concerned about image quality. And when you want to understand resolution, you have to understand pixels. When you look at an image, whether it's printed or it's on your computer screen, you're actually looking at a collection of dots. Each image is made up of thousands or even millions of these dots. Sometimes when you're referring to the dots in a printed image, they're simply called dots. But for an image on a computer screen, we call them pixels. Image resolution has to do with the number of pixels crowded into a square inch of your image. If you zoom in really close into an image on your computer screen, you can see them. The more pixels there are in an area, the better the image quality will be. For instance, in this picture with 300 pixels per inch, you can see that the pixel in this area are smaller and there are more of them. This makes the image clearer, but it also means that the file size will be larger. This image is at 96 pixels per inch and it contains fewer pixels. Because there are fewer pixels, their size will be larger and the image will appear less sharp, but the file size will also be smaller. Compression is what you do to make a file smaller. For instance, making a 5 megabyte image into a smaller 100 kilobyte image. You'll usually want a larger, higher quality image file if you know you're going to use the image for printing or any other output that needs high resolution. But compressing an image to a smaller file size makes it easier to display on the web and also easier to send by email. And of course, compressing images can save you a lot of storage space on your camera and on your computer. In this chapter, we've covered some of the terms that we use with Photo Impact, as well as some of the formats and issues surrounding image editing. In the next chapter, we'll introduce you to the Photo Impact interface, as well as its toolbars and panels for managing your work.